Hi everyone and welcome to learn A-level biology for free with Miss Estrick. This video is going to go through the blood vessels comparing the different types. So first of all, just an overview, we'll be looking at arteries, arterioles, capillaries and veins. And this diagram is just showing you how they all link together. So just a reminder from GCSE, arteries are carrying blood away from the heart, so A away. The arteries then branch into arterioles, which are smaller than the arteries, um, bigger than the capillaries, and they connect the two together. The capillaries connect the arterioles to the veins, and the veins carry blood black back into the heart. So veins have the word in inside of it, carrying the blood back in. So again, we can just see here the network and what you need to know for A level, the difference is a comparison of the composition of the wall of all three of those and actually all four, because we look at the arterioles as well and not just what it's made of, but also the different thicknesses of the different tissue layers. So if we start with the arteries and veins, we'll compare those two. Here we have a micrograph showing the cross section through an artery compared to a vein. And straight away you can see some clear differences. So the vein's lumen is a in a regular shape and it's much bigger. The artery's lumen, and lumen means the space in the middle that the blood would flow through, that is much, much smaller. And this is due to the differences in the thickness of the wall. So an artery wall is much, much, much thicker than a vein. And again, you can see that up here. Um, they both contain the same three tissue types, but different thicknesses. So an artery, the muscular layer, which we can see here, that's our muscular layer. And again, you can see here, that is the muscular layer. That is much thicker in arteries compared to in veins. And in arteries, it has that thicker layer, so it can constrict and dilate to help control the volume of blood that is um, being pumped out of the heart. Veins are relatively thin, so they don't actually have any control over that blood flow. The elastic layers, so they are both elastic, but the arteries have much, much thicker elastic layers, and that's to help to maintain the blood pressure but also so that they can stretch and then recoil back to their original shape in response to the heartbeat. So instead of the blood vessel um, tearing under high pressure, instead it's really elastic so it can stretch out instead. Because veins are carrying blood at a much, much lower pressure, they don't need that thick elastic layer. So they have a relatively thin elastic layer. And that's what we can see here, that white part is the elastic layer. Um, here we've got a much, much thicker elastic layer. So overall then, the thickness of that wall um, is much, much thicker in an artery, much, much thinner in a vein. The final tissue, so I did say three tissue types, is referring to the valves. Now arteries do not have valves, but the veins do. We don't actually see a valve in this image, um, but valves are these flattened flaps which help prevent the backflow of blood. So that's our comparison of the arteries and the veins. Next then, if we have a look at the capillaries. So a capillary is um, one cell thick, which we can see here, it's only made up of one cell. Red blood cells can only just fit through the diameter of the lumen. And that is an advantage because it means the blood flow slows down significantly when it gets to the capillaries. And we want the blood to flow slower so that there's more time for diffusion. And if we think about the locations of capillaries, we learn about capillaries in the villi, in the alveoli, in the nephron. And all of these places is where diffusion occurs. So it's an advantage that the blood flows slowly. You do also actually have capillary beds. We are only looking at one single capillary here, but in this diagram, we can see the capillary bed or network of capillaries. So you don't actually just have one, you have a whole branching network. 
So just to compare all four then, we've already gone through the arteries and the veins, but the arterioles then in comparison, and this is what connects the arteries to the capillaries, um, and that has a much thicker muscular layer compared to arteries, which actually people often wouldn't expect. The reason for that is it helps to restrict the blood flow before it gets into the capillaries because if too much blood is flowing into the capillaries, that would be a very, very high pressure and it could damage the capillaries. The elastic layer is much, much thinner because the pressure has already started to drop by the time it gets to the arterioles. And overall, the thickness is much thinner um, because it's got a significantly thinner elastic layer. And the pressure is lower. No valves, though. Capillaries, they do not have any muscular tissues. They don't have any elastic tissues either. They are just simply one cell thick. It's just one layer of cells. And the function is to provide a short diffusion distance and also to slow the blood so there's more time for diffusion to occur. So that is it for the blood vessels. I hope you found that helpful. Please give a thumbs up if you have and click, click subscribe to keep up to date with all the latest videos.